Hi there. Uh, today I'd like to make a video about uh, a piece of software that I had been looking at for quite a while. Uh, it's called Chess Position Trainer. Um, it's uh, it's meant to really work on your opening repertoire and make sure that you both kind of keep track of what your repertoire is, but also uh, gives you a chance to practice your uh, uh, your skill at remembering those openings. And it can be very useful for tournament players who just need to keep an eye on their openings and uh, be sort of a little bit organized about this. So the I'm using a free version of this. Uh, it doesn't have all the features, but I think it's pretty uh, useful anyway. And you can do a lot of things with it. So it has the concept of repertoires. Uh, you can have a white and a black repertoire. Instead of the moves, um, it focuses on the positions, so it's supposed to handle transpositions quite well because of that. So I have a repertoire called I called Slav. I play the Slav defense as black, so now I see things from the black side on the screen. Um, I had already had it before chess position trainer. If I wanted to, I could use it to enter my op my moves and enter my repertoire, but I think. Uh, if you haven't had your repertoire by now, <laughs> you're probably you're not too likely to start entering it now. So I would expect most people to actually have their repertoire. And you can import uh, uh, you can import PGN files into this um, into this system. Um, I won't go into the details about how to do this, but uh, the free version should let you import PGN files, which you can create some more in some other software. Um, so, based on the repertoire that I have, um, I'm going to start to, like, I'm going to decide what I want to practice. So this is the exchange variation of the Slav defense, you know, um, in this position. Um, I also have something entered for other lines, too. But let's say today I want to focus on the exchange variation, and this is the basic position of it. I could look at a, uh, a G3, but nobody really plays this, so I'm not going to look at that. So today I'm going to start with this position, um, and I'm going to start practicing this line with a 3, which is the main line. Yesterday I had looked at Queen... no, actually. Um, so here there's several moves. Queen b3, Bishop b5, Knight e5. Uh, I looked at Queen b3 yesterday. So in the training, um, I have some statistics dedicated to this, um, related to queen b3. Today, I think I'm going to look at bishop b5, and I'm going to make it uh, the main move, which it really is. Uh, and so I'm going to start to train from here. So I go to the training section. And uh, I'm going to tell it to practice from the current position. If I don't set this option on, uh, it's going to start throwing everything in the repertoire at me, which I don't want. I want to just study the bishop b5 lines. So scheduling and some other features are not available in the free version, but basic training is, from what I can tell. Um, so I'm just going to start. When you press start, I think it, it tries to, f to first show you what you're actually supposed to play. So now it, it tells me what are the moves that I'm supposed to play. Uh, so in this line, white sacrifices. Uh, white wins a pawn, but his queen is kind of curiously placed. So interestingly here, white, um, well, black does this uh, funny thing where he, tra he seemingly traps the queen. So let's see if I remember this. Uh, now it's up to me to play a, to play a move for black. So I remember that the knight comes to e5, so I really should stop that. Now the queen comes out, so I got the move right. Um, let's see, what do I do now? If I go a6, he wins the pawn, so I probably have to guard this. C6, so I do that. Okay, that was the right move. If I take with the pawn, he takes on a7. Again, nothing 
seems that great so I probably take with the rook he takes on a7 so now I need to protect this pawn so I do that with this uh, so he goes queen a5 what do I do now um, I think I'll keep harassing the queen so now I, th I think there's a line where I can take and he takes and then I go rook c6 and then I go bishop a3 and just kind of harass this whole thing and get the pawn back but my repertoire says that I should play queen a8 so I'll just follow follow my repertoire and now I think um, the problem if I go here and he goes knight there and if rook takes then knight takes and I lose my stuff back well I lose the rook so I think that is I have to stop bishop knight b5 so I'll go bishop here and that's the thing and now I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here I think I'm supposed to play this just to trap the queen okay so that was the end of my line now chess position chain that takes me back and shows me this this whole repertoire so as you can tell I kind of studied this line a long time ago uh, pretty well so now so it wasn't very difficult to remember it all but now it, it shows me a different line so here white white takes why doesn't take? He says he castles early. This is actually the main line, I think, of the Slav exchange. So let's see if I remember. E6. There. Queen there. Rook c8. It should be almost automatic. Okay, so here he doesn't take. He castles. It's a different line. Different line. Interesting how the moves are flipped here. It's weird. It seems like a bug. Um, it's missing bishop b5. So now he he wants to do it for real. He really wants to take and and here and he already castled. So I have to play a6 here. And that is correct. Now I have to take with the rook. And now he tries to build up pressure on the on the b file. Uh, uh, what do I do now? I think I go b5. Oh, okay, so that was the wrong move, right? So here the, the software tells me that b5 was wrong, tells me that. I think it's bishop e7. Then. Yeah, so that was the right move. Maybe now I go b5? The idea is to play b5 and put. Okay, that was right. Now I go rook c4. And now he attacks my rook. But his pieces are a little uncoordinated, so I think I can go queen a5 and do all this. Okay, so I got this uh, straight up to here. I'll probably stop here. Um, it's it's sort of like a sanity check, you know. I, I, I know this line sort of well compared to how I know all the other lines, but even then I got a couple of moves wrong. Um, the move order can be tricky to get and, and this software lets you kind of both formalize what your repertoire is and then actually, you know, reinforce your knowledge in that, you know. Once you've gone through this a few times, you, you, you get more confident in, in, in your knowledge of the opening. So the software is uh, good for, for a free software and it's, it's useful. And it introduces some new concepts that don't exist in other software for studying chess. So I recommend this, this tool. Um, I'm going to stop here and uh, look at the stats. Well, I know 98% of the positions I got through so far, so that's good. Hope you like this tool as well.